Oh, hi friends. It's Sunday. I'm heading off to do my matinee um, at the Back to the Future the Musical. Recap, Friday night's audience was manic, dressed in costumes, crazy. Yesterday we did two shows, very good audiences. I think Back to the Future fans have been aching for us to get there and are loving what they're seeing. Uh, musical theater fans of the British production have been aching to see the Broadway production and are loving what they're seeing. Backstage is still very chaotic. Uh, it will work out, but it's gonna take a lot more negotiating with management and unions and stuff to be like, we just don't have enough people to do the job in this building this way, because in London, it was a different story. And that I do not believe that was taken into enough consideration from all angles before we just, just do it. So we're getting through it, but um, my track with my two leads, uh, Doc and Marty, uh, I am okay, but there are moments I'm climbing over set pieces in the dark. I'm going down awkward stairs with baskets. It's it's just too tight and crazy. But the ensemble dressers are really struggling to get through, and so is the wig department, and so are props and the set. It's it will work out, but it's been very hard. Um, more than that, though, today Sunday, the second of July, Leopoldstadt closes today. And so my heart is very, very much with them today because you know how much that job meant to me and how much they all mean to me. And I will go to their closing celebration after my matinee, all sweaty and gross, but I can't wait to see them. So what I'm thinking of is something from my play, Prince Charming, You're Late, about the closing of a show. Uh, I'm gonna slightly paraphrase myself, but I just wanted to read this, this passage and I'm gonna try not to cry too hard. <laughs> Being in showbiz, doing what I do, uh, means having your heart broken again and again. Uh, we form very powerful bonds with very tight families, and then we know they're temporary, and then we tear them apart. Sometimes uh, soon after opening, and sometimes a long time after opening, and sometimes like, oh, thank God that's behind me. But for the most part, it, it's a painful goodbye, uh, or until we meet again. We sing happy trails until we meet again. So Leopold Stad uh, will always have a place in my heart, uh, but it's hard to know that it's going away today. Okay, so this is what I wrote in Prince Charming, You're Late. This entire company of people will never, ever again be in the same building at the same time. That is a fact. And the chances are only slight that I will see most of them, seldom, if at all, once we walk away from here. That is showbiz. They will all go off and do other shows with different dressers. They'll live their lives with their girlfriends, with their husbands, with their friends, their own age. The young people like to go out and do together. And I don't belong in that story. The truth is I never really wanted to share my time with some of them anyway. Well, that's getting into the specifics of my Prince Charming fixation, but that's the point being, we will never again have that same circle of people at the same time. And that's the show biz. So, chin up, happy trails to them. I'm grateful to have been a part of telling that important story to be standing next to a Tony Award winner. 32 Broadway credits to my name and wardrobe. And for the first time, dressing a Tony winner who thanked me on the broadcast. Now that's special. And now I get to go uh, dress Doc and Marty one more time this afternoon and that's fun too. Or it's gonna get more fun than it is right now, but it's gonna be fun. So happy trails to you and uh, until we meet again.